Hi, this is Thomason, Master of Professor Excellence College of Technology. I would like to welcome you for the another session in the robotics and machine machine. I hope everybody is fine. And I thought uh, this is one of the useful sessions you know, to learn the science sensors in robotics. Um, so everybody knows uh, sensors is a vital role in robotics, right? Um, so in this case, uh, we are supposed to use uh, uh, the different type of sensors, uh, especially the proximity and ray sensors. Uh, so the proximity sensors are going to discuss in the following video. Let me share the presentation uh, the topic. Yeah. <clears throat> So the proximity sensors, right now. So the proximity sensors are available uh, in models using for high frequency oscillation to detect ferrous uh, and non ferrous metals objects and in capacitive models. Uh, so, so uh, models are available in environmental resistance, uh, heat resistance, resistance to chemicals, and resistance to water. Uh, so the proximity sensors are. Uh, without any physical context. So it includes sensors that pretend uh, permit non non contact uh, sorry non contact uh, detection in connection to the sensor such as image that it in the proximity sensors are uh, uh, information on the movement or the presence of an object uh, into an electrical signal. Uh, there are the three uh, three type of detection system that do is conversation system that usually the eddy currents that are generated in metallic sensing object by electromagnetic induction. So systems uh, all detect changes in electrical capacity when approaching the sensing object and system that uses magnet and switches in the Japanese in the, uh, switches. Uh, so the Japanese industry centers different proximity sectors, uh, sectors uh, as a low voltage switch gear and the control gear. Uh, so these sensors that provide non contact detection of target objects that are close by or within the general vicinity of the sensors and also cla classifies them as an inductive, capacitive, ultrasonic, photoelectric, magnetic, and uh, proximity sensors. These uh, technical uh, uh, explanation defines all inductive sensors that are used for detecting metallic objects. Capacitive sensors that are used for detecting metallic and non-metallic objects, and the sensors that utilize uh, DC fields as proximity sensors. Uh, then rail sensors. Uh, so normally the rail sensors are uh, used to ca capture three-dimensional 3D uh, structures of the world from the viewpoint of sensors, usually measuring the depth through the nearest surfaces. Uh, Similarly, these measurements could be a single point across a scanning or plan, plane or full image with depth measurement at every point. So this is how we usually measuring. So. so the technological sensing ranging application markets are depending upon the variation that have been occurring. So the inductive sensing range is less than 4 to 40 mm. This application mainly used for any close range detection of ferrous materials. <coughs> So the target in so close range means then the that should be targeted steel, aluminium, copper, etc. Capacity is less than 30 minutes. Uh, close range detection of non ferrous materials, uh, liquids, wood, granules, plastics, glass, etc. are used by these materials. Similarly, the photoelectric material is less than 1 mm to 16 mm. The large range, smaller, large range target detection, silicon plastic material, etc., can be used in this material. So, in ultrasonic, less than 30 mm to 3 mm, uh, the long range, it is normally used for long range detection of uh, target with different surfaces, properties, color, or reflective incentives. So, is the target material is cellophane, foam, glass, liquid, and water, in powder, etc. So these technologies are sensing range and applications and target materials. So normally used for detecting the objects of proximity sensors. Again, these proximity sensors are empathized into a different categories on uh, different conditions on uh, based on sensing application and sensing technology. These sensing technologies are used to detect an objects based upon their requirements. Uh, so these sensors are required to make a motivation of 
doing such instances of uh, projects like uh, how it had been enrolled into uh, sensing ranges, how the improved sensing ranges has been used, what is the range of varieties and what is the critical identification detection without using the physical context like unlike the human like or touch sensors. These sensors play a vital role in uh, <coughs> emerging automation technologies because of its uh, ability to detect the objects in the surroundings without any model now for touching. Uh, so these three sensors play a vital role in uh, robotics. So without these sensors, the robotics cannot be, become an automated sector. So I hope everybody is understood. Uh, let me catch in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you. Signing off from Samasam Austin Professor, Business College of Technology.